Hi, my name is Samantha, and if you don't know me, I'm a stage 4 breast cancer survivor. I was diagnosed back in 2019 when I was 22 years old. If you want to know more about my story and how I found out I had breast cancer, I have a lot of other videos on my channel, but I'll put a link in the description to the first one I've made, which was basically how I found out I had breast cancer. I am currently in the third trimester of pregnancy, so I've been making a lot of pregnancy-related content over the past couple of months. But um, I figured since it is October, I would do one video a week um, that is breast cancer related because October, if you don't know, is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. In today's video, I want to talk about why breast cancer survivors and breast cancer patients hate October. Um, Pinktober is sometimes what it's called because everything turns pink. Um, and I know it's a little weird to be making a video specifically for Breast Cancer Awareness Month that talks about why we don't like Breast Cancer Awareness Month, but it's something that's talked about a lot um, within the breast cancer community that I see, but I'm not sure if regular everyday people really know that a lot of breast cancer survivors really, really hate this month. I actually asked this as a question on Instagram recently and read through a bunch of the responses from other cancer survivors, so um, I'm going to be using, I guess, some of what they said in this video, but mostly this has just been something that I've realized over the past three years. Okay, so one reason why many breast cancer survivors and even other types of cancer survivors or anyone that has any like chronic illness or anything, uh, why they don't like October is, is that it kind of puts breast cancer above other types of cancer. Obviously when you make an awareness month, like October is breast cancer awareness month, that month is supposed to be you know, about that disease. So um, you may look at this argument and be like, that's not a really good argument because you can just have another month that celebrates another disease. While that is true, have you really seen um, people talk about other types of cancer in the way that they have talked about breast cancer? I mean, for October, it's like football players are all wearing pink or baseball players are all wearing pink and it's just like everywhere you look like every news story anything all about something related to breast cancer and there yes there are other months that focus on other types of cancer but they don't go all out to the same level that breast cancer awareness month does I think the reason for this is just because breast cancer is so common a lot of people know someone in their life who has had breast cancer and because of that, it has affected a lot of people. It has affected the people who have been diagnosed with it and their families that have had to watch that person go through it and, you know, their friends and all of that. So when you say, okay, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, people are going to have a lot of support behind that. I don't think that anyone really intended to put breast cancer above any other type of cancer, but it does seem like that is the case. So it is one reason why breast cancer survivors and other cancer survivors don't really like this month because they don't really feel like the other types of cancer are getting represented fairly when there's so so much going around just about breast cancer. So kind of to go off of that, um, there is a lot being said about breast cancer during this month. Everything is pink. Somebody sent me a picture on Instagram of the bagels in the grocery store they turn them pink. I have never seen this in stores, but like it doesn't surprise me. It's just everywhere you look, you see pink. So this is really triggering for a lot of breast cancer patients and survivors, which is understandable because a lot of them have uh, PTSD from going through treatment and going through such a serious diagnosis, especially the people that have an incurable type of breast cancer may not want to uh, walk outside their home in October and just be constantly reminded, constantly seeing pink everywhere and being reminded of breast cancer. <laughs> I have a little bit of a different mindset on this. Um, I've always thought that, yes, it is annoying to constantly be reminded for myself, but if it helps somebody um, get diagnosed to go get a mammogram or to do a self breast exam and to go to their doctor. Um, if it spreads awareness to somebody who needs to see that, I just think that that is more important than me just feeling bad and being reminded of my diagnosis. Now, I don't actually have PTSD, some people do, so obviously for them this is way worse and it is really understandable why it can be triggering. But to me, I think I would rather it help somebody at the expense of me having to see it and be reminded of it. 
argument on the other side of this is how can you not be aware of this? It is in your face all the time. Um, but I don't know, I just, I sometimes think that people need that, you know? Um, there are people who go about their lives thinking that they're fine, um, that nothing could ever happen to them. I, like I said, I was 22 when I was diagnosed, wouldn't, was not thinking about cancer at all. And this kind of thing can happen to anyone. So if someone has anything suspicious going on with their breast and seeing all that pink is what they need to get into a doctor, then that is a good thing in my opinion. Okay, so this next reason that I have, I think is the best reason and the biggest reason why people really don't like Pinktober. That is because companies use it for profit. So since it's October already, you've probably already seen, you know, clothing companies, literally any company starting to sell pink merchandise. I need to eat something. You'll hear a lot of people say, think before you pink. And that basically just means before you buy something just because it's pink, just because you want to support Breast Cancer Awareness Month, think about it. Think where that money is going. There's a lot of companies that will sell pink merchandise, um, breast cancer related items, and they are giving a portion of those profits to breast cancer research. That's great. If you're going to buy the pink thing anyway, buy it from somewhere where they're going to give money to breast cancer research. Before you buy the product, you should check and see which program is getting that money, where that program puts its money that it gets, um, if there is a cap on the amount of money that they will be giving. So if they say, oh, we're going to give 20% of the profits from like selling this shirt to a company, but once we get to $1,000, we're, we're stopping that and we're just taking the money. And if that cap has already been reached, I mean, you buy buying that shirt isn't really going to help research anymore. If you don't really need the pink thing and you're just buying it because you want to show support, you don't really need to do that. The best way you can show support for breast cancer is by donating to breast cancer research. Even before you do that though, read up on the charity that you're giving money to. Make sure that that charity is actually funding breast cancer research and they're not, you know, using all of their money for other things. My favorite charity to donate to is Metaviver. I will link that in the description. It is specifically focused on metastatic breast cancer, which is stage four breast cancer research, um, because most breast cancer research does not go to stage four breast cancer research. And obviously I care about stage four breast cancer because I have it. And for many people it's incurable. I don't even know where I was anymore. Oh, hello. Are you here for this video? She had to make her appearance. Basically that's the main reason why people don't like Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Everything turns pink, you see it everywhere, but a lot of that pink that you see isn't actually really helping breast cancer research. I think what people would rather see happening is less pink everywhere, so it's less triggering, and just more money going to breast cancer research. And you can call me a pessimist, but I don't really think that that is something that will happen. I think that the reason that this month gets so much, you know, attention is because, you know, there's a lot of people that have had breast cancer, there's a lot of pink that's everywhere. I think that in general that probably does help breast cancer research indirectly. There's going to be some people out there that are like, oh, I'm going to donate to a breast cancer charity because I just remembered I saw all this pink everywhere and so I'm going to donate. In my opinion, companies are going to always be greedy. Um, you know, if it's the thing to sell pink things, then the companies are just going to do it. There's no way around a company trying to be greedy. But we can continue to spread awareness. We can continue to spread statistics about breast cancer. We can um, spread information about where people can donate to, that will help breast cancer research. And I really think that that is just the best thing that we can do. I don't think Breast Cancer Awareness Month started out as a bad thing. I don't think that many people are trying to make it a bad thing. I think that there are things that have made this month not what it could be, and there are things that we can do to do better, um, but you know, that's the same with everything. Hopefully by watching this video, you understand a little bit more about why breast cancer patients hate the month of October, what things they hate about it, and which things they like about it, and what you can do to help breast cancer patients get more of what they want out of October. <laughs> Leave a comment down below your favorite charity that you like to donate to 
or ways that you like to support breast cancer in October, check out my channel for some other cancer related videos, pregnancy related videos also. And I will be making a new breast cancer related video every Tuesday in the month of October, so come back for more of that if you are interested in that. Um, yeah, that's all. Bye!